Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys another fun pregnancy update for baby number three. Um, so for those of you who are new, I have three children, one on the way. And so I am, I have been meaning to do another pregnancy update for weeks now. So I'm a little behind, so we're gonna try and cram a bunch of other weeks that I didn't film into this video. Um, uh, my voice sounds a little bit dry and croaky because I just got over being having a cold, so bear with me on that. But anyway, another reason why I haven't been on here much is because we've all been sick and very busy with other stuff that's just been kind of personal. So anyway, I'm back and I'm excited to share with you guys some stuff that's been happening through this pregnancy. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. Alright guys, so I have made it to the halfway mark and halfway through this pregnancy. They were taking a little, depending on when baby was born. But for the most part, I'm halfway through my pregnancy, which is crazy to me that that's already, it's already gone by so fast. Um, but yeah, so I am currently 22 weeks pregnant. Um, the update, this update is going to consist of weeks like 18 through 21. Um, so it's a lot to fit in, but it'll be it'll be fine. I did not, not a lot happened um, during like weeks 18 and 19, and so there's not going to be a whole lot to update you on. But anyway, so um, yeah, so I made it to the halfway mark. Baby is super wiggly and crazy, and loves just loves to move around. Um, but it's really cool. I ride around, which I believe I mentioned in my previous update we could already feel baby from the outside. Um, Josiah got to feel the baby from the outside, I believe, right around 17, 18 weeks. And so that was pretty cool. Um, I just love feeling the little kicks on the outside, not only on the inside. So that's a pretty exciting thing that's been happening and baby has just been so active. One of my most active kids. I'm not 100% sure if, it's, if the baby's more active than Kyla, which is my second child. Um, she was pretty active and I want to say she, this baby hasn't, hasn't topped that yet, but they might be like the same. I don't know. Anyway, so 18 weeks was great. Nothing happened that was super crazy or different. Um, uh, pregnancy has been going good uh, for the most part. Just nothing too crazy except for, you know, kind of feeling the baby on the outside. So. Um, the only other thing, you know, nothing happened other than that on the 18th. Come to 19 weeks and I had my uh, midwife appointment. And so, which is crazy, I only have two more midwife, midwife appointments and then I go on to the third trimester, which will be like every two weeks. So right now I'm meeting with my midwife every four weeks and then in two more appointments, so uh, roughly two more months, I will be down to two weeks. Crazy. Anyway, um, so uh, the thing, so yeah, I had a midwife appointment um, at nine weeks and um, she measured me, which is usual, usual. Last time she measured me, I was measured right around the same as um, my weeks. So it was the centimeters of my belly or my um, uterus. And so she measured me again, and I was measuring two and a half more centimeters than um, my however many weeks long I was. Now, granted, this is not necessarily, you know, the measuring method isn't always precise, and every woman's different, and some measure big, some measure small, some measure right on, right on track. I, for one, always measure right on track. So another reason why we were, she was a little bit like, hmm, you're measuring quite large for your usual. Um, and I have felt big this whole pregnancy. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, that's kind of what I was figuring. Cause when I went to that appointment, I figured I was big. Like I just, I could tell that my uterus had gone past my belly button and it, it was just crazy. Anyway, so she said I was measuring big. And so she really tried to check for a second heartbeat just in case and um, couldn't find one. But again, baby is small. Um, and if it's babies, they can hide fairly easy, especially just at like, you know, 20 something weeks. Um, the only other thing we were thinking of is my due date was maybe miscalculated. Um, 
I really don't see how that's possible. I was pretty certain and pretty, I'm, there's really no way to screw that one up. So I'm pretty sure I'm on for dates. Um, so yeah, anyway, measuring big. So she said that, you know, we essentially talked about, you know, all the possibilities um, that it could be, and it could be twins. I mean, we still haven't ruled that out. Um, really, the only thing that can kind of rule that out is an ultrasound. Um, so she said, essentially, my midwife, we are talking about possibly doing um, an ultrasound. And so I went ahead and scheduled, um, or I am in the midst of scheduling an ultrasound. Um, but uh, the, the appointment that I had, we talked about it. And, you know, if I keep feeling like I'm measuring big, and if I keep feeling weird movements because I felt some funky movements and that could just be me and I'm you know totally imagining it but just for the sake of it might be twins um, I'm gonna go ahead and get an ultrasound so that was something we talked about back at 19 weeks and now we are going to be doing an ultrasound I'm just in the process of scheduling one so we'll see if there's two in there or not it's highly possible. I've talked about in previous updates that I have twin sisters. My mom has twins in her family. They're all fraternal, so obviously I have a high chance of having twins. Um, I don't think there's twins in there, to be honest, but I still have this, this feeling of uncertainty that I would like to know for sure. So um, as much as I don't want to go get an ultrasound because I was gonna try and do this completely natural, um, but it's okay. It's all right. It's fine. Um, I want to be reassured that there, if there is twins or not. So they can also tell me if there's anything weird going on in there or whatever. Um, I just feel like it's something that we need to do. So we've decided to go ahead and do an ultrasound. So anyway, interesting. I will definitely keep you guys updated and I'll let you know in the next update whether it is twins or not. Hopefully for sure. I don't know. There's always a chance, right? But even with the technology we have, you guys, ultrasounds have been known to be wrong, so. But it'll definitely give me a lot less, um, ain't be, it'll help me to know a little bit more, I guess. Anyway. Um, so let's see what else happened. So yeah, anyway, 19 weeks and then 20 weeks happened. I was so excited that I was officially halfway there. And um, so that was nice, that was exciting. Nothing big happened. Uh, baby just kept moving more and more. I, stepped, I kept getting bigger and bigger. I no longer fit in any, like, well, this is not maternity. Actually, none of them are. This is too big for me. This is just right. Um, but this is just super stretchy material. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not wearing anything maternity right now. But for the most part, I cannot fit into any of my pre-maternity clothes. Um, and I haven't been for a while. I've just, it's kind of funny that, you know, like, it's really hit that point where I can't even fit into most pre-pregnancy dresses and um, other stretchy material is even so hard to fit into. And I'm having to get new underwear. If that's a little TMI, sorry, but it's really not. I mean, it's just everyone everyone wears them, um, but I'm just getting bigger and bigger, so. Um, so yeah, 20 weeks, 21 weeks, which was just last week, I, we got, well, at 20 weeks I got sick with um, some sort of congestion, cold thing. It was awful, Ugh. but, um, just, I guess at 20, 21 to 21 week, 20 to 21 weeks, I really just started to feel like I needed to get an ultrasound and really see if this was twins because I kept feeling weird movements. Like sometimes I feel like I had, like I'd feel movement up here, which isn't normal for how far along I am. And um, so it just, with all that combined, now that I'm 22 weeks, I definitely decided that I wanted to go ahead and get an ultrasound. But um, anyway, so, um, totally thrown off gender with this baby. Um, I thought last update that it was gonna be a girl or that it's a girl for sure. And then I kind of heard the heartbeat again at 19 weeks and I was like, oh, that's a little bit lower than it was last time. So, could very well be a boy. I don't know. I just, maybe I'll know. If, no, I don't know. <laughs> I really, I don't know what kind of guess I'm going to throw out there, but I have a feeling with this baby, I'm just not going to be able to guess. So, um, Braxton Hicks are happening. They started happening right around, I want to say 17 weeks. Um, 
so I don't know if I mentioned that in my previous update, but the tightening of the uterus and then, you know, the little those practice contractions definitely happen earlier on with this baby, but that's okay. Um, and they're happening more frequently, not in succession, like, you know, like, like contractions are supposed to be, it's total practice contractions. Um, so totally random and they happen here and there and over there, uh, especially if I overdo it a little bit. Um, but yeah, definitely had a lot of those off and on, um, so, which is fairly normal, so that's good. But um, again, that's kind of it. There's no big, other big updates I have for you guys on this pregnancy other than the fact that I'm gonna be getting an ultrasound and um, we'll see if it's twins or not for hopefully for a little bit more sure, surety. There's always a chance that the tech could be wrong, but for the most part, if they don't see two sacks in there, two babies in there at this point in my pregnancy, then I'm most likely not pregnant with twins. So hopefully that'll kind of help with some stuff of just the unknown. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't think there's really anything I wanted else to update you guys on. So let's go ahead and I'll show you guys the bump. pushing it out there like sucking it in is really hard <laughs> this is this is it this is how big I am like and I'm not gaining a ton of weight excess weight anyway I still have some emptiness here but it's pretty hard and right there I mean I just feel really big and every like I think if it was if it was normal for me to be big like all the time with every baby then I probably wouldn't even think twice about this but because with like both other kids previous kids I've always been like right on or right like just one centimeter above one centimeter down um, never this much ahead and I'm curious at my next appointment which is next week um, to see how much how big I am now because if I keep getting this big you know I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be having the ultrasound before my next appointment. So that way, you, you know, you kind of know, hopefully for sure. But anyway, so yeah, that's this pregnancy update. I cannot believe. I just, it's crazy that I'm halfway there. I'm really starting to think about birth now because I am having a home birth. And so I'm trying to like start prepping and planning and like writing lists down of stuff I need and want for the birth and um because and also I need to try and do more like squats and exercises to kind of help open my pelvic area and just it'll help in the long run with labor and um so anyway definitely labor prepping already and um birth prepping so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video not much else left to let you guys know, but I will, I'm excited because next update will be whether, what the results of my ultrasound. So yay. Anyway, I'm excited about that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great week. Bye.